Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority in Hearts of Iron 4, Old World Blues. I want to immediately begin by saying I apologize for yesterday's late video. I was uploading and doing a bunch of other videos, and just, I glossed over the one from yesterday. So I apologize for uploading it, like, a little less than 12 hours from where I should have, but... What's done is done, and Binky has just barged into my room. So let's continue anyways. Cool. So we got raiders coming. The Legion marches, which is kind of not good. Washington Brotherhood and Fortify the North, which we need to keep here. But if we keep our 24 divisions here, or at least 5, we get a little bit of stability. And oh, we get a little bit more army XP. Now, I can boost the civilian economy. Binky, what are you doing? Hold on. Hold on. Binky. Pinky. All right. Anyways, I just had to close the door. Uh, if I do boost, oh, what the heck? Protest and greater. Oh my gosh! Look at all this stuff. Protest and greater Dayglow, right, Bink? Um, in the city of Greater Dayglow, a crowd of people have formed, too sudden and organized to be a spontaneous occurrence, especially considering the banners unfurled and slogans chanted. Bink. A brave few souls flying NCR flags as the crowds grows and marches on. Pinky. Sorry, Binky's just right next to me on my lap here, so. Uh, protests have broken out in the ex-NCR state. Many have taken to the streets demanding the return of elections and democracy to the... God dang it, Binky. He's in front of my screen. Um, elections and democracy to the NCR territories. And now he's all over my computer. Binky. Bing, bing. Alright, so we can break up the protests, lose legitimacy, comply with their demands, which doesn't sound like good, and let them tire themselves out. I'm probably going to do this. Uh... Things could get out of hand if I break up the protests. Pinky, what are you doing? He's on my printer. I lose stability. I lose some war support. I get a 50% chance that nothing will happen, but 50% chance that protests turn into riots in Greater Dayglow. I want to do that since I already don't have any war support anyways. And protests turn into riots in, in Greater Dayglow. Gone out of hand and turn into riots. It'll blow them off some steam. Uh, I just Some things get hit and damaged. God dang it, Pinky. What are you doing? Send in the troops. The massacre? I'm going to let them blow off some steam because a little bit of damage is always okay. Because we can always repair that later. Yeah, we lose some stability that I really need, but whatever. And our new vice president. Ooh, we got women around us. What? Binky. As part of the reconstruction, Granite has decided to appoint a vice president, a power reserved to the president pursuant to the 44th, uh, 44th Amendment. Holy cow. To help him manage the nation's divisions. Lynette would help reach an accommodation with the Citizens League and promote their dream of a managed democracy where the, there is a place for everyone so long as they are in place. Congressman Hayes would represent an accommodation with the New World Party, a promise that the reuni reunited states will continue to assemble towards greater equality and freedom for all Americans. But in his darkest moments, Granite wonders if Americans are ready for democracy. Perhaps the president should continue to manage the nation with a firm partner at his side? Sergeant Dornan has been invaluable since the fall of Navarro and nobody would dare challenge his orders and Binky wants to leave immediately my goodness Binky demands he gets in jumps on my computer knocks things off my printer and demands to get out oh well freedom of speech there have been some upsides to the fall of the NCR by its final hours the nation was run by an oligarchic alliance between Brahmin and Brahmin barons and the caravan companies who turned the NCR's democracy into a joke uh, we can let the time go on just for a little bit right now. They managed to suppress dissent in much of NCR's territory by buying up or otherwise dealing with hostile reporters and pushed the NCR Senate to pass legislation clamping down on what could be or couldn't be published. The fall of the NCR has given writers room to breathe. Okay. While the American promise is to many a fresh, a breath of fresh air. For all the chaos, there's a feeling in the air, a whisper of old world blues and new world hopes. Time will tell whether this will turn into an American spring or a nuclear winter. Wait, what are they writing about us? So we get free press, more production efficiency cap, less encryption, more justify war go times, worse offensive war penalty stability modifier, but daily people support. And the free press will be watching my actions and end of the reformers. At, with the Enclave's rule expanding across Nevada and the destruction of the diehard purists, Grant has become president in fact as well as name. Grant's supporters no longer call themselves reformers, for they no longer just want to no longer just en enclave scientists and officers, but include Brahmin barons, casino owners, ca car avengers, caravaners, I mean, salvagers, vault dwellers, and even a few couriers. This is a problem. 
All these people now have different dreams and visions for America. Granny can keep them united for now by saying that his priority is reconstruction, but this will not last forever. And if Granny stands for nothing, then what he what will he stand for? Democracy seems democracy seems a lot messier than the old books said. Oh good. Oh, we lose so much intellectual support. Oh god, we still have Boris. We still get more intellectual support. Oh, do I really want to go democratic though? The president. Oh, Citizens League elites. People, the Wastelanders, the National Anthem. Uni the reunited states must choose a national anthem. Some say we should stick with the Star Spangled Banner or perhaps a Battle Cry of Freedom. Oh, I love the Battle Cry of Freedom. But Sir Secret Service spies in the Boneyard found a hollow disc at a pre-war bar named or called the Eagle by a singer named RuPaul. Really? Her song American is a hit with the troops for she's the stars and stripes flying high, red, white, and blue. She is me and you. She's American through and through. Uh... Enclave can learn from RuPaul. Oh, no. We rally once again, shouting the battle cry of freedom. Oh, we'll just go with try to choose the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, my goodness. There's so many events that were going on. End of the Reformers. They'll be gone by the end of uh, the year, so that'll be good. Oh, we got some things going on. Oh, Vice Presidents? Oh, no. Oh, God. So right now we have the Legion Marches, which isn't good, and then the Brotherhood tries to expand. I was talking, trying to talk about boosting the civilian economy. We get rid of four military factories or four arms workshops in exchange for four civilian workshops, but we get more stability. Is that it? Um, honestly, you get a little bit of stability, which we actually just really might need, but... Removing military factories? I still need military factories. Ban free press. Remove free press. Get 25% stability. Stability is lost is based on the popularity of people faction. People faction is... 0%. I have enough stability. I need stability, man. Free press? I don't like free press. That scares me. Daily people support. Hmm. Frankly, offensive war... Penalty stability modifier. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. United States. Ganon Doctrine. Firm as granite. Frankly. Does anything here require either one? Just because. Uh, let's see. Lucia Incident. Yeah, we still have that over there. Let me just see real quick. This stuff should all be okay without me doing any decision regarding free press or anything like that. This one requires I complete stuff, but the Nation Reborn means I need to do the focuses of free elections as well as a FBI. Bureau, Bureau of Investigations. Suspend elections. Free elections. Oh, do I want to become Democratic or not? The Enclave Reborn. You're simply existing America, but postponing death for a day or two America is back America is beautiful or a nation of born um, to, to quote the musical classical musical Hamilton we're finally in the field we've had quite a run reform path we get the job done oh man oh man the last argument of the present anyways the legion marches the Romans hang from the crosses like their god dog city has fallen and now the legion turns to clean up its flank the only remaining foe of the legion are the reunited states but many fear that it will take it will fall like so many others before Kaiser. And Kaiser's Legion gets Baudeo, Baudeo Ranchers. A war go annexing. So Kaiser is coming. It's definitely coming. He's going to be a while, but he's definitely coming here. Uh, I could use more resource efficiency gain. Like, I could really use that. But is that really the best thing we could choose? Sure it is. Because look at these resources. They're terrible. I want to go democratic or not. Well, I do want to ban the free press. I want that stability. Oh, oh, I need more political power first. Let's get some more political power first, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. The disloyal opposition. <clears throat> One of the greatest surprises of the past few years is that Grant C. Hayes, Enclave Loyals, and Daglo Mayor has begun fighting with President Granite. Hayes was raised by the Enclave's elite, but somehow the subjugation of California has radicalized this American patriot. Hayes has spoken out in support of ghouls' rights, greater aid for impoverished wastelanders, and even of the need to respect the tribals. This morning, Hayes took to New California Republic Radio to announce the formation of a new political party, New World Party, and that he will push for greater rights for all Americans. 
He's also rejected the crisp military attire of the Enclave's elite for the casual, alternative attire New California is known for. Hayes stands as a hair of the best of New California and New America, and he has thoughts on this indefinite military rule. Oof. Well, that ain't good. That really ain't good. Mm. Organization. I already have the better power armor. Eh, might as well. Oh, sounds like everything's just falling apart now. The New World Party is beginning a little bit more and more powerful as Intellectual Party is dying. Now, what happens when I choose one of these? I could go for Vice President Lynette, Hayes, or Dornan. I kind of want Dornan just because he's... Everyone likes him. Let's see. Make every town as prosperous as Vault City. That sounds kind of nice. Oh, and Legion marches again. That's not. That's really just not good. Kaiser's Legion declared war on Baudeo Ranchers, and we got a little bit of a boost or less of a debuff from some of these national spirits. Nice. We actually have 6% war support. That's not bad. That's better than before. So, the uniting, uniting the United States of America. Uniting the States of America. I can't talk today. My head does kind of hurt a little bit, but whatever. Uh, yesterday's enemies. Oh, brothership. Oh, they can't exist for this for me to take this. NCR leadership. Incorporate the NCR army. Reluctance to serve. Huh. Where's that? End of the reformers. Reluctance to serve. So if I get rid of this, I get more population. I get less supply consumption, more recovery rate, more war support, and more justify war goals time, or technically less. That's not bad. The fate of our democracy is going to be extremely important, though. Do I want a presidential presidential dictatorship or not? What I really want to do is just do a Nation Reborn. So I guess I'm going to have to go with Hayes. Because Enclave Reborn is nice and all. But I'm really thinking I want the, a Nation Reborn. I really want to see the United States come back together. So we'll probably do that. Federal Reserve. Stability and political power except the NCR dollar honestly I like this because it gives you more factory output and less consumer goods but except the NCR dollar it wouldn't be bad how do I get more haze haze is in the new world party so I need to become more and more people like sick of it anyone here arcade Ganon is a genuine or genius pacifist kind of hurts though Daily elite support, which actually isn't the worst thing. It's actually not too bad. Arch Dornan. Peacekeeping. You can go volunteer only next. But I'm not going to let this go until I'm done with stability stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see. Can I get rid of free press? Yes. But that might hurt us. I'm going to get rid of free press now so that the... Haze... So that... The party doesn't become too big. The people's party be doesn't become too big, so I can still get some more stability. Maybe this will harm us. Maybe it won't. But that's okay. Reclaim the Declaration of Independence. That sounds like fun. All right. And focus. Yeah, focus. Law and order. The new order. Ooh, that looks like fun. Weekly stability, research speed, less... Wow. Justify war goal time. Much better. I bought patrols. Underfunded justice system. Revive the judiciary. That's the same thing. FBI. Um, indefinite martial law. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but you know what? Vaccinations. Oh, we could get more monthly population. That could be good. Daily political power game. Gain. Teach for America. Civilian education. It's so hard to choose what you want to do. Wait, what is that? More daily political power for less encryption. Mandatory patriotism sounds like a great thing. But I'm going to go ahead and do... Probably law and order so I can get down to replacing anarchy. Let's go with law and order. So I made the decision already. That I'm probably going to go with Hayes if I can. Peacekeeping. The prerequisites for peacekeeping are no longer fulfilled. Um, okay. Well, I'm probably going to get rid of Boris C. We'll get a little bit more war support. Another victim for the Brotherhood. Uh, with the fall of the Troll War. And, uh, we've already said this before. They're just going to go to war with the old country, which they actually already are at war with. Can I send volunteers? I can't send volunteers. God dang it. They're fighting. The old country is fighting the 
Port Ma and the Washington Brotherhood, but they're fighting across mostly a river and at several choke points. So that's not terrible for them. Fortify the north, that's good. Rebuild infrastructure. Infrastructure construction speed. Nuka land. Ooh. And I can get some legitimacy for every two levels of infrastructure built during the decision, which is not bad, but we can probably wait on that. Uh, yeah, but I definitely want to save up my political power to get rid of intellectual support and eventually get more people support. That's... Oh, wait. I got rid of free elections, didn't I, though? I am talking out of my mouth like crazy. Oh, my goodness. Well, someone here is probably for the people, right? We have someone here for the people. Let's see. Should not have gotten rid of free press, but it's some of its debuffs I just didn't like. The elite support... Um, I thought there was someone here who had more people support. If I can't do it, whatever. Do, do, do. Ooh, there's intellectual support. Well, yeah, that's alright. So, Nuka Land. Before the Great War, New Reno was home to a park full of rides and games called Nuka Land. Although not as impressive as its East Coast counterpart, we could re revive it as a symbol of the promise of a better time to come. And we can also test some experiments on the park goers. Well, it's better than the plan to poison the world's water supply. Building Nuka World. Unless this theme park trains death claws pass. It looks like we get a little bit of a debuff right now, but I can't build anything anyways. So, it sounds like this, this event will get done in the end eventually, so I'm okay with that. But yeah, we definitely got to get, got to get rid of, <clears throat> excuse me, get rid of Boris T. Oh, I just had some coffee. Ugh. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Data Elite Support would be the wrong thing to do. War Support, more non-core manpower, less, a lot less War Support. EPA Director. Actually, I need the EPA Director because he is required for one of our focuses. So I'll switch to him once we have enough political power. And these guys are still popping up, but that's alright. Any research? No. Um, white legs declared war on grabber territories. White legs are down here. Let's see. Legion marches, raiders. Ah, law and order. So, since the NCR's collapse, New California has been rife with banditry, corruption, and brutality. The NCR's ramshackle bureaucracy, already overstretched, has all but collapsed despite the Enclave Reconstruction Authority efforts to keep it in place. Gangs and barons rule as they please, and to get the state up and running again will require substantial effort. Some idealists in the New California Republic believe that we need to restore a faith in an impartial judiciary, a law that protects the salvager and the Brahmin baron alike. Others think we should work with New California's elite and crush dissent quickly and efficiently. After all, a strict constitutional scholar might question how Granite even became president. Well, I already said I want to go down with the rule of law, so we're going to go into that, even though the New Order sounds like a lot of fun. So if you're ever playing the Enclave, go ahead and try New Order and tell me how it's like. Let's see. To the Republic, a government of laws and not of men. Lawyers won't stop the Legion. Well, technically you're right. I completely agree with you there, but we're going to revive the Judiciary for bonuses anyways later on. Cool. And let's get to revive the Judiciary. As I am sweating for more political power, so I can get rid of Boris. The Brahmin Barons, even after the crushing of the rebels in the NCR, the Brahmin Barons' wealth and power gives them a stranglehold on Northern California. Some suggest we spend men in laser guns to break their power, while others suggest we cement their position in the reunited states at a great cost to our popularity. Some wonder if there's a third option out there. So we get a bad national spirit, so we get less political power. We lose consumer goods for 500 days, lose some stability, but we get more popularity of oligarchs. Well, it could be worse. Yeah, this could be a lot, lot worse. Still get 0.39 political power days, which isn't too terribly bad, considering everything that's gone on. Oh, warrior code, very nice. More, more recruitable population, more soft attack and a hard attack for the entire army. And we're going to spend some political, or some army XP for, to lose some more manpower. Yeah, that's basically what it was. Uh, for this. More research speed sounds nice. And Raider attacks again. And the Legion marches. No longer get the effects of and the Reformers. So be it. Is there any way for me to boost... No, there's no real way for me to boost anything here. Radio detection is nice. Reinforce rate. Let's get some more decryption and encryption and stuff like that. I'm just waiting for it to fortify the north. We get 5% more stability and a little more army XP. 
And we have raiders. They strike an armory, and we lose a little bit of health. I guess you could say. Just put them at the top. Doesn't really matter. Odeo ranchers have capitulated. And Kaiser is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Until, of course, there might be a civil war in the end. But you never know. Uh, manpower. They're doing not great, but not bad. Could be a lot better for them, but that's okay. Uh, the Legion marches again. They get uh, Annex World Goal against the Fiends. Where are the Fiends? Where is that? Oh, the Fiends are over here. Oh, they're in Vault 3. Oh, that's not good. Manifest Destiny. They don't have a lot of manpower. Oh, revive the Judiciary. So that really helps us. We're a little bit more popular in democracies, oligarchy. We get 18% more consumer goods factories, more weekly stability, faster research speed, faster justify world goal times, and offensive war p penalty stability modifier. Good. And now we're going to get the FBI for even more democracy, oligarchy, stability, remove underfunded justice system, remove smuggling, and replace the new Reno police with more daily political power, recruitable population, and stability. That sounds actually really good. Can we actually produce things now? No, we can't. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. Scavenge for equipment. Oh, man. I'm still having boost party popularity for the intellectuals, which really kind of sucks, but... Oh, well, whatever happens. I could have, I guess, not done this. Because that would just give me more political power to do stuff, but whatever, you know, things happen. Boost the civilian economy. Wait, the Brahmin orders establish order. Um, let's see. Has completed indefinite martial law. Has completed the FBI. Has completed the Voting Rights Act. More than 50% for the New World Party. For this to be, for this to complete. If not completed, the barons tighten their grip. So by doing the FBI, we'll get rid of the Brahmin barons. All right. Weekly stability goes down. Protest and Gre Greater Daglo. We already did this though. Ah, oh, crap. Let them tire themselves out. Just let them blow off some steam. That really hurts the stability. Ooh. Come on, I need more political power. The president no longer has a lot of support. The Reconstruction Party is getting a lot more support. I need the New World Party, though. Come on. Research is even getting... It's kind of slow as well. And the Supreme Court hears case on Ghoul Pride Parade. Oh my gosh. With the integration of ghouls into the new Great Experiment, more and more ghouls have moved into Vault City, their pre-war skills commanding high salaries in the rapid Boomtown. But they face rampant discrimination from some of the older citizens, and they wish to hold a protest. The ghouls seek to hold a ghoul pride parade celebrating their contribution to American society and demanding equal treatment. Vault City promptly denied their permit, and now the ghouls have brought suit. Although Mayor Lynette claims the denial merely reflects a Vault City preference against large parties, the denial clearly reflects discriminatory intent. How the Supreme Court rules will affect how the court will view ghouls' rights in the future cases. Stability or lose stability and for more democracy. Uh, the court holds that ghouls are entitled to equal treatment under the law and that they may hold their pride parade. Well, I would like more stability, but democracy isn't bad either and I really kind of need that. So, I'm going to go with this. Yeah, but we get more weekly stability every week, right? Oh no, we get weekly change of minus 0.8. Ooh. Oh, baby. Yeah, I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. That's not good. Um, more resource efficiency gain, because that actually should help a little bit. Oh, we doubled the amount of metal we were extracting. Oh, that's better. Scrap motorcycles, sure. Just put them on. We'll never get to it, but just put them on for now. Need more power armor, of course. FBI is done. Thank the Lord. 46% stability. Revive the Federal Reserve is something I would like to do. But, first of all, I'm going to wait for more political power first, because because I need it. I really need it. So we can get rid of Boris T. Uh, Brahmin, they establish things. Oh, I need to have actually completed the Voting Rights Act. And more than 50% stability for the New World Party. Oh, crap. Come on. Stop doing this. You're just hurting everyone. Alright, let's get rid of Boris T. And replace them with this. We get some more stability and multi-population. Um, where is it? Voting Rights Act. I need to do this one next. The business would be fun to rebuild places. Stripping the vaults. That's our leadership. Yeah, now we can do fun the EPA so we get more multi-population. Recruitable population division. Attrition goes down. 
We lose some consumer goods, but we get more stability, and the Gek Project will help us as well. Let's go ahead and do the fate of our democracy next. Nice. The FBI. We lost a little bit of population, but we get 8% stability, more daily political power. Oh, the Brahmins. Why you gotta do this to me, man? And the Legion continues to march. The polyalphabetic ciphers. Alright, sounds great. Let's get some more radios then. Can I can I build anything? I can't even repair anything. Well, I guess I kinda can. They'll be done in July, but that's like three months away. Holy cow. I love negative zero stability or negative zero political power. And we have combined arms. Better recovery rate, attack, soft attack organization in exchange for a little bit of recruitable population factor. And Brahmin orders establish that. Uh, Legion marches. They're getting closer and closer to us. Hopefully they attack the Mojave Raiders next. And then the Scorpions. How are the Scorpions doing? Because right now, last time we saw them, we had a, they, have, they still have a lot of manpower. They might be able to hold out against Kaisar's Legion, if anything. So the fate of our democracy. Ooh, my head hurts. A little bit. New arena prospers under our rule, but we must decide how to govern the United States. Douglas's rule has been successful and he's brought us back from the brink. The nation has been under martial law since the war, and he could cement his power and frankly better than we could hope, rule. Or we could aim to restore the United States, risking losing control of the Enclave in elections and giving power to the natives. Hold on, I gotta open the focus tree up. So, I want to extend presidential powers, but I've already chosen what I'm going to do, and that is empower Congress for more legitimacy, stability. Wow, that's a lot of stability, 10%. We'll do that, and then immediately do Voting Rights Act so we get more democracy, oligarchy, legitimacy, more daily... Well, that's a lot of daily political power. We get we get to use more factories, we get even 10% more stability, and weekly stability, and factory repair speed, and free repair. Nice. The new Congress. Although Grant has decided to restore democracy, there are still many who expose concern about giving away or giving everyone a say in the government. After all, look at the morass the NCR was. Vault City's mayor has suggested suffrage be granted only to Americans who can... Who can something like their old citizenship test? Who can do something? And those with a clean genetic history. These wise citizens could select representatives who advise the president. Alternatively, we could adopt the old way of every man a vote. What part of democracy are you not getting? Well, democracy is a terrible form of government. Oh, what did I say? Nothing. Okay, anyways. Vice President Hayes, make concessions to the New World Party and make Hayes your vice president. Well, that was my goal. Because I want to do a nation reborn, and you need to have free elections, and Hayes is vice presidente. Let's do that. Make concessions to the New World Party, make Hayes our vice president. Right now, we have about 34% versus 62% in terms of that. Let's do that immediately. And vice president Hayes. Hayes, for all his criticisms of enclave excesses, is a firm believer that America is the world's last best hope. As well as coffee. By appointing Hayes as Vice President, we will confirm that our faith in the Great Experiment and that a government for the people, by the people, and of the people shall not perish from this earth. God bless America. And we get plus 10% stability for Vice President Hayes and more democracy. I changed my mind. JK. Just kidding. And the Legion marches against Yampa. And they go to war with them. So, Peko's colonies under attack. Yampas, where's that? The bandits are still killing each other down there. White legs. Oh, Yampa's up here. Ooh, how do they get over there? I don't think they'll actually be able to get to there unless they declare war on someone else. Um, Legion marches, whatever. Right now, we need more than 50% support for the New World Party. I want to steal that or, or reclaim the Declaration of Independence. That sounds like fun. Roll out technology to scavengers. Scavenge for old world tech. Voting Rights Act is definitely something that we need. 44% legitimacy. You know we're legit. Love it. Uh, honestly, what is the Brotherhood up to? I don't really like them just kind of sitting there. They've got some good manpower. they got a lot of divisions, more than me. Which is not good for us. Let's see. That's a lot of days. 205 days is a bit too much for me. Um, let's do a foundry because that sounds like that could be very, very useful. Voting Rights Act would be great for us. At least we're pretty stable. At least we're stable. That's a good thing. We only have 100 factories, and we are slowly getting more and more power armor, which is nice. Even though Kaisar is having a good old time in Pecos Colony. Did he navally invade? He looks like he navally, navally invaded down here. Huh. They got some manpower. Kaisar has a lot of man... Oh my gosh. Enslaved dogs. Oh. 
Voting Rights Act, nice. More democracy, oligarchy, more 54% legitimacy. Amazing. And we're going to go with free elections next to remove unstable government. Sounds like something we did at the very beginning of the game. Or disjointed government or something like... Excuse me, something like that. Uh, where was that? Reluctance to serve, we got to get rid of. Building nuclear world is fine. Unstable government is right there. So, now we get 1.1 political power a day, which is nice. That's actually pretty nice. 66% stability. 4% war support. You got to do what you got to do. And we're mobilizing 0.000%. Every day. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, what is this? And they're going to tighten their control. God dang it. Oh, you are all terrible people. The barons established order after the NCR's collapse, but it took them literally weeks to decide to subvert that order to their own end. Across vast stretches of New California, the barons rule in their own name, siphoning taxes for their own ends and bribing government officials. This problem will only get worse until we tackle this head on. So basically, I need to become more and more... Um... Uh, democratic. Now, if I wasn't doing de democracy, I could send Dornan to crush the barons, but I can't do that. Which kind of sucks. The followers of the apocalypse. Uh, perhaps the oddest faction in the waste is not those boy scouts in powered armor or the cons who probably never even heard of Mongolia. Huh. But, the, but rather, the followers of the apocalypse. Neutral and respected by all, they have tried to bring a brighter future of teaching and healing. Unlike most other factions in the waste, seek no power over men. Now that more Americans are beginning to see us as their lawful government instead of genocidal maniacs, darn. The followers have asked to expand through this new reunited states. Although they might prove the standard, they might improve the standard of living, some fear the, their anarchist ways could harm our nation. But surely we can't persecute people because of their political beliefs, can we? Oh, you know we can. You know we absolutely can. This will bar future support from the followers, ban them, constitution guarantees the right to assemble, lose war support, I only have 4% so it doesn't even matter. Subsidize the followers' efforts by distributing medical supplies to the followers, create a thousand points of light in the dark of the waste, gain legitimacy, lose 10% war support, we lose uh, electronics and something else, but we get more monthly population. Uh, I'm okay with that just because I will doing I will be doing a lot more conquests in the future. So this, while it sucks now, hopefully will pay off in the long in the long run. So that will be good, and that's pretty much it for today. Um, looks like the bandits finally killed themselves off. The Brotherhood is just kind of staying still. We are slowly, slowly, slowly trying to build, rebuild America. Even though I didn't even take the focus yet for, uh... For rebuilding a nation reborn or whatever it was I was supposed to click on. Oh, the business of California. Yeah, I was supposed to do that. Anyways, um, with that in mind, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I apologize for yesterday. The Brotherhood is kicking some old country booty. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to build up the reunited states of America. Thanks for watching.